So, Panasonic in 2024. Actually, this is released, I think, 2022 or 2023. I think 2023. And then right beside it is another. It's a national. So that's also the beginning of Panasonic in the Philippines. And the copper one was bought in 1994. Okay. Oh, the energy label is for this taller one how it looks again so i already plug it in for like 40 minutes it's already quite cold i just put it in the middle for the airflow so that there is a um, equal distribution of cold air between the freezer and the fridge the refrigerator side so I'm just gonna start removing the tapes so if you do this I would say save the tapes because there is a one-to-one -one exchange in case there is a fault with the with the unit within the seven days and you have to return everything so save the spacer save everything okay so i'm gonna put that in get the tapes away okay the next is i'm just gonna let it cool then in a while, in a bit while, I will start maybe washing the compartments. Okay, so the refrigerator side is still not that quite cold, but I can feel, I can feel cold air. forgot to mention like for this make sure that I see most people like they keep the styrofoam at the bottom like the the box they would keep it with the box and styrofoam at the bottom but I don't think that is correct you have to totally remove it because I think there is still like a little styrofoam there which could affect the, um, the flow of the air or how the unit fully functions. Also, you have to remove, there is also a little styrofoam at the back where the condensation is collected. So you also have to remove that and make sure that the fit is adjusted so that your refrigerator is labeled and it's not wonky like for this actually the floor is quite leveled at this space so when i give it a notch okay there's really not much give so let's say more of like not a foolproof way to know if it's level but it's a good way to check Okay, we'll just keep removing all of the tapes, saving them, and saving them so in case it needs to be returned within seven days, I have them all. Save all the little, little styrofoam, just that would help, like it is being a wedge between the drawers and the um, slides okay so i can see a bit of um like it's already 
being cloud getting cloudy so we know that it's getting colder there's the vents surprisingly there's not much <laughs> there's not much cold cooler going on anyways what do you see about that not noisy as well it's a little bit warm on the side which is also true with this old with this old unit that we have how old is 1994 when it went wow 30 years old. It's actually still working, but since it is a a no froth, it's there's no frost technology in the 1990s yet at that time, I suppose. So the old one just grows ice until <laughs> until the freezer forms a cave, and there's really not not much freezer space okay we're down to the last few tapes okay we just have to mess that up then Here's the rating. So, power output is only it's at nine, 65 watts. But when you're defrosting, it needs 140 260 watts. Nice. It's quite energy efficient. So I can see a bit of cloudiness there, some condensation, some condensation there, so we know there is some airflow. So what you really need to do is upon delivery, you just have to wait for the unit to rest for three hours. That is what is indicated in the manual. And then you have to turn it on, set to high. I think we got, we don't have it at max. We have it at max, okay. So I got it at max. So this is the temperature control for the refrigerator. Actually, I did not see any, it says refrigerator temperature control. Well, I did not see a separate temperature control for the freezer side. This is only for the air control. Whether you want more air go that goes to the refrigerator side or more air to the freezer side. This is you put it on this side if you want more air going in to the freezer so there will be faster cooling. Like if you place a lot of say meat or frozen products might want to do that but for me I just want to put it in the middle 
for now. Okay. Because our non-Panasonic one at home, at my parents' home, it has two temperature controls, separate temperature controls. So I guess this is sharing one compressor. One compressor for the refrigerator and shares it with the freezer. So this is the ice box. You, have the, you put it in the freezer. This new one, I think it has a smaller crisper for a vegetable basket than our old one. Oh, it's pretty big. This one, the smaller one. I think it has a bigger vegetable basket. I call it vegetable basket. It's, it's like the fresh, fresh basket. tapes left. I'm expecting like a twist. delivery what I notice is this little lip at the bottom kind of looks ugly in person <laughs> so it's a plastic uh, trim because it looks pretty sleek right and then you see the plastic trim it is quite thick and like a bumper I suppose or old ones like that Okay, and I think I'll just leave that. There's also like a film. I'll just remove that for seven days. For now, that's it. Just make sure that there is at least five centimeter clearance there. And then at the back, there should be a clearance as well. So there is enough airflow. I'll be checking it again in 
plug it in at 7 it's almost 8 now so 2 more hours and I would expect that the refrigerator side is also cold of course the freezer is already cold actually okay see ya